All right, you hams. What are the three main things you need to go out and do some ham radio out in the field, right? You need your radio, of course. You need an antenna. And that's not going to work if you don't have a good battery. Now, let me tell you, I've got a good battery for you. The folks at Watt Cycle were kind enough to send me over one of their batteries to test out and try in the Canadian cold weather. Now, it gets cold here. Can't see it right now, but out there there's a little snowstorm and it's like below minus 30 or below. I done a few videos previously with some live tests. I had the battery actually sitting outside and I froze the sucker and I brought it back to life and I froze it. Now, believe you me, I have frozen that battery more than a dozen times and I haven't charged it for a while. I put it on the freezing cold, I bring it back in, I sometimes just leave it out there. That battery is miserable. It's not liking me. But maybe I shouldn't say that. It probably is liking me. Here it is right now. It's been sitting out there for a while. It is, this is the 100 amp hour 12 volt Bluetooth mini battery. Thing's quite light. I have to use two arms because I'm a little bit of a weakling. But you can see there's snow on it. Just brought it in. It's icy cold. It's frosted up. We're going to put that on the bench. Okay. We have it on the bench here. First thing we're going to try, let's see if it powers up the radio. No dice. That's a good thing because this battery is below what is recommended for it to turn on. If it's not going to turn on, is it going to charge? Let's see that. Where's my charging cable? Not going to charge. Now, what makes this different from the other batteries is this has an intelligent BMS system inside. It will shut down the battery when it's too cold to charge or to be operating. Now that is a good thing because the lifespan of these kind of batteries, it needs to be in the proper operating conditions. So take out the guesswork. Take the competitors that doesn't have this BMS low temperature cutoff feature. How, how do you know how cold it is, right? That battery, you can't. This battery, the watt cycle battery, you can tell. And certain models will have an app that is designed to tell you what is happening inside of that battery. And this is great. Not all of them have them. I wish they will, but someday it's telling me at 68%, does your other battery have 68% before you go out? Do you know that? I know it because I could look on my app just like this. What is the temperature? They're still cut out. We're showing minus 18. It is warming up in there. So this app is a complete game changer in the world of portable batteries, you guys. You cannot go out without this app. And if you don't have the app, if you just got one of the normal batteries from Watt Cycle, you know what? You got the intelligence inside of that battery, the BMS, that's going to automatically shut it off. So it is a win-win. I, I can't complain at all, and I'm going to be getting a whole pile of these. I'm going to be getting one for my boat. I'm going to be getting one for my camper. Um, it is... It is just uh, unbelievable how wonderful these are. So this is what's happening right now. It is frozen. It's not coming on. I did a test. I did a test uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, and it only actually took about 15 minutes to warm up, and then it started charging. So if you're on the cold and your battery's frozen, I mean, you got to warm it up somehow, you're going to have yourself a battery the in tariffs. no time. All right, guys. 73s for now. See hams on the bands.